Hi, this is Jobert, AE Creator for Punt5. And in this video, I'll demystify the Adobe After Effects interface. When you launch After Effects for the very first time, you'll probably see this welcome window. From here, you can see your recent projects. You can open one or create new compositions. But the thing I want to point out here is this area. If you are new to After Effects, it's a great idea to turn this option on so you can have access to these choices as well as the Adobe tutorials via the Getting Started link. For now, I'll just press close so that we can have a blank project open. This is a default standard workspace. This workspace is a combination of the most commonly used panels. Now if yours does not look the same as mine, what you need to do is to go to the upper right corner of the interface and choose Standard. Or you can go to the menu and choose Window, Workspace, Standard. If your interface still looks different, you may need to reset the Standard Workspace to its default settings. Go to the upper right area again, then on the drop-down menu, choose Reset Standard. Or you can choose Window, Workspace, then press Reset Standard. And in the dialog that appears, click Yes. After Effects has a very customizable work area. The main window of the program is called the Application Window. Panels are organized in this window and this arrangement is called a workspace. In the standard workspace, seven panels are visible. There's the Project Panel, the Timeline Panel, the Composition Panel, the Tools Panel, the Info Panel, Preview Panel, and the Effects and Presets Panel. You can customize a workspace by dragging or rearranging or even undocking panels. And as you rearrange panels, the other panels would resize automatically to fit the window. You can drag a panel by its tab to relocate it. The area that becomes highlighted when you drag panels is called a drop zone. The drop zone determines where and how the panel is inserted into the workspace. Dragging a panel would either dock it or group it. If you drop a panel along the edge of another panel, it will be docked next to the existing group, resizing all groups to accommodate the new panel. If you drop a panel in the middle of another panel or group, or along the tab area of a panel, it will be added to the existing group and be placed at the top of the stack. Grouping a panel does not resize other groups. You can also open a panel in a floating window. To do so, select the panel and then choose Undock Panel or Undock Frame from the Panel menu. Now let me open a project so we can see the relationships of these panels. The Project Panel is where you store and organize all your assets like music, photos, videos, and compositions. The Composition Panel is where you preview a composition. Whatever changes you made in the timeline are shown here. A composition is like a container that stores layers of video, audio, text, and etc. In AE, you need to have a composition in order to do actual work. The timeline is where you adjust your layer order and properties, as well as time-based animations. Whatever you do here will be reflected in the composition window. The tools panel is where you select different tools used in the animation process. Hovering on the icons show you what their name is. The info panel is where you view data like spatial coordinates, color values, and numerical changes in layer properties. The preview panel is where you manipulate playback and preview settings for the active composition. And lastly, the Effects and Presets panel is where you access and apply effects and presets to the selected layer or layers. You can apply an effect to a selected layer by double-clicking on it. This will open up the Effects Controls panel. The Effects Control panel is where you modify or tweak the effect to suit your liking. And that concludes our tour of the Adobe After Effects interface. Once again, this is Jobert, After Effects Curator for Point 5.